which is the last season, <laughs> um, might have <laughs> Emperor Palpatine, and this is based off of some voice acting scheduling uh, rumors. So who's, who's supposed to be doing it? Because it's Ian yeah. McDermott. Well, that's according Palpatine? to this, no, that's the rumor. And the rumor is based on just the scheduling of it. Okay. I think the original guy who does it in season two was also in studio. Now they could he could be doing different characters. It could be a different. Wait, show. Palpatine was in season two of Rebels. Uh, according to I this thing, he was. Yeah, yeah, I think a hologram, on, on hologram with with Vader. Yeah. He was like. I don't remember that. Yeah, I think he was. <laughs> yeah. He was like Lord Vader. Well, remember yeah. the guy that did Palpatine's Hi. voice in the Rebels? Do it. No, in the Clone Wars series? <laughs> yeah, he, he passed. passed. And then, what's his name uh, from Clue did it for the last couple of episodes? Yeah, that's kind of strange. Oh, yeah. Um, 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 Tim. Orton. The donut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. The donut became animated and voiced Palpatine. I can't think of his name. Why? I'm totally drawn to play anyway. Yes, we. And also, Warwick yes. Davis. Warwick Davis is going to be playing right. Rook. We talked about that. Yeah, but who's that. Rook? Rook is the assassin. We talked. To, to, you, you're the one that talked oh to us about it because you know Rook the character. Rook is the person. Oh, assassin. the Thrawn guy. Well, yeah, yeah. the Thrawn guy. Christian, I think you need to get your like head checked or something. Uh, anyway. Well, I am bald. But it'd be that cool. It would be cool if McDermott comes in and does it for that the last season uh, with Palpatine. That we're we're running. We're, we're running out of like real estate to have Palpatine show up in things. Uh, at this yeah. point, unless you yeah, really um, eat him right now. because because he's dead. Well, I mean, there is a popular. I mean, now it's not canon anymore, but there was a novel novelization where Palpatine had cloned himself a bunch. Yes, and it's was the, like, I have the book. You have a book. It's called uh, Star Wars Dark <laughs> Dark Expanse. Dark no Dark Empire trilogy. Wait, that's a book. It's a graphic novel, oh. and some people is still. It canon? It's non-canon. Some people it's still, legends. some people still even theorize that Snoke is like one of his clones. Oh, gone that bad. would be cool. Gone yeah, like I feel deformed like that's a and much like for the, the movie. It's too, it's too extreme. Yeah. To get. Yeah, every two hundred percent. They're like, who's Palpatine? No, it's not that bad. Some of them, they just know him as the Emperor. Right. Like, think about it. No, he's, he's referenced as Palpatine. What is his Palpatine. first name? Darth. Darth. No, no. Obviously. Darth what is Palpatine's first name? Emperor. <laughs> so you, know, you, can't talk, you can't talk about people who don't know that his name is Palpatine. Mm -hmm. Just because we're so nerdy that I know his first name is Sheev. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, but Sheev. you know, but you know, but people who watch <laughs> the movies, that's such a weird you name. should know. I know right? You, but it's not, it's not so obscure that people who <laughs> Palpatine is is used a couple of times in the original trilogy. Do it. Do it. Is he? Yeah. Mm, Where does Sidious come from the, then? That's his... Oh, wait, that, right. Darth Sidious. So that's all... Emperor Palpatine. I thought he was called Emperor yeah. Palpatine. He's Prequel Emperor trilogy, Palpatine he's... in... Um, so, so... Oh, that's, that's, a, yeah, thing. No, that's, that's a good point. Thing. In the original I, I trilogy, he's, he's called Emperor Palpatine. Mm -hmm. We only learn of Darth Sidious' name because we've watched and played games. You've read books. We talked about it. We've read stuff online over the and years. Then the, and then the prequel trilogy. And then the prequel trilogy, then they finally Sidious. refer to him. Oh, so Darth Vader is the prequel trilogy and Emperor Palpatine is that one. But okay, I'm well, saying, either, even either way, who, though. I'm talking about people who are just very, they aren't fans. They like it. They, they call themselves fans, but not like hardcore nerdy fans that have just, that honestly think they like it, but have really seen the movies only once right. each. They may not even remember Palpatine. They so, just know him as the Emperor. Right, then then having, but having like, him, there are having, who might, yeah, yeah, totally. But then having him as the clone makes no difference to those people. They, they're going to watch the movie once and that'll be done. That. Yeah, they, they won't, oh, they won't even care. What the hell is that? All right, we have uh, two more minutes. We're going to fly through the rest of this. Power Rangers 2, unfortunately, is probably not going to happen. Wait, what? And that Why? is because it bombed in China. It's bombed in uh, It's the not going to make market. its money back. Uh, the international market is doing horrible. After the initial weekend in America, it did really not do fell well. off the rocks. It only got about $100 million, Yeah. I think. Uh, so, rest in peace. Yeah, it did not do too. well. Sad. Oh. That really sucked. They, it, got, it got about $40 million in its opening weekend, and then didn't... It All the hardcore fans went to go it. see it opening weekend. Yeah. That was us. Okay, and then the, that domestic, was it. the domestic run ended with $85 million. Oh, wow. It's even less than $100 million. Oh. That's yeah. bad. How much did it cost to make? 100 
10. Quite and a bit. That's yeah. before marketing? That's before marketing. Oh, that's So it's bad. a loss. I know. It's not while Ravi's digesting two more and things. And it's barely made 50 million overseas, so there you go. Uh, it's, yeah. That's sad. Exactly. That's sad, because it was a, g- it was a good start. Oh, Ravi, right. this one's specifically for you. Um, you know how Marvel has like five TV shows and uh, five. DC it's like 10, dude. has it's like a million. million coming out? Well, um, HBO is uh, working on developing four Game of Thrones spinoffs after the series ends. How does that make you feel? Excellent. That is, that sums it up <laughs> that beautifully. Said, they have absolutely no. They haven't said anything about what they're going to be or, or even if they're going to be. There's going to be. F- yeah, that's true. They're developing. I think, exactly. They're developing. Ideas, they're developing which means they're spitballing ideas. Yeah. And then, Real quick, uh-oh. this is a message to all the studios out there, all the production come everybody. You're all clearly out of ideas. So here's my pitch for the next universe, and you can take it. It's about a person. It's about honor. Who hates universes. And then goes on a quest to destroy them. I'm really looking forward to the Monsters like universe, that. you know, with the Mummy oh. and Dr. Jekyll. God, I'm for Last bit of news before we wrap this up. Blade Runner 2049 trailer uh, came out. I haven't gone to watch it yet, but Harrison Ford is oh. in it. It, it meant um, absolutely nothing to me. It was really good. Uh, like wait, it. wait, who's the other? Who's, oh, Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. If you're a big Ryan Gosling fan, I'm sure it'll be great. Matt Ryan, I'm sure you'll be all over this one. So. <laughs> 